the New York City migrant problem just got a thousand times worse. So New York City is no longer assigning shelters to adults after 30 days. So if you get into a shelter after 30 days, you're on your own. Here's where it gets really interesting. And in my book, this is sort of awesome because this is this is going to bring New York City into chaos. Now, there are going to be a lot of illegal immigrants that are going to wind up leaving, but they're going to be those that are not going to leave because the entitlement's going to kick in and they're going to stay and do what? Look for more apartments to squat in. What a lot of migrants are going to start doing or illegal immigrants are going to start doing is they're going to start calling real estate companies and they're going to go to these companies with the intentions of looking for an apartment, looking for a home. They're going to they're going to look on, on these street easy apps and Zillow and the rest of them. And they're going to see what's available. They're going to visit these, these places and they're going to squat in them. We're going to see a lot more of that because New York City's kicking them out. And what are they going to do next? They don't have a choice. They're going to start squatting in these homes, which is undoubtedly going to lead to more problems. Now, we did see a group of people just get arrested. I think it was like eight of them or nine of them or something like that and they just got arrested because it was an illegal migrant gang or illegal immigrant gang squatting in a home with guns and drugs they were moving drugs out of this house if i'm not mistaken so with that guys that was one gang and that was one set of a gang never mind the rest of that gang operating throughout the city in other homes now they're probably trying to shake these kids down to see what are the homes that they're squatting in or where they're main base location is so they can attack that still guys nonetheless that was a gang that thought of that ahead of time and said hell why don't we just take over a home and start operating out of there and that's exactly what they did so now you got more illegal immigrants not able to get a place to live or a shelter and they're being kicked out now i don't know if that goes for family so obviously pablo and his family are together i can't see them doing that to them with the kids but the single man on his own is the guy that's going to have to be it's going to be out in the street. And I think that's going to be by the end of this month, which is going to be awesome because the pandemonium that ensues after that, you're going to have dudes squatting in homes. Now, buildings that like I live in, that's almost an impossibility, like almost because it's, it's just again, these doors are heavy duty metal doors. So I can't see these guys picking a lock, getting in and all this other bullshit. But I can't see them do I can't see them doing it with other homes where you can climb into the window, off the fire escape, or if not, maybe even off a balcony. You could definitely try to do it in that fashion, though a balcony is a little more dangerous than off the fire escape. But obviously, guys, they're going to start picking homes through these apps. In fact, some of them might even pose as a couple to look for a place and then go, okay, we'll call you. And then a couple of days later, they're in the house seizing the home or seizing the apartment or the house, wherever they choose to go. Houses are a lot easier to break into than apartments. Apartments are harder, but I can see them definitely doing it with homes. Now, I'm in apartments. If you see this problem in your neighborhood, if you see a migrant family or an illegal immigrant family in your building and you know that they're squatting, get them the fuck out of there by any means necessary because it only goes one way once they start their bullshit once you start seeing west africans in there and single uh, venezuelan gang dudes in there you got to get them out of there before they settle in a again guys because it's only going to get worse the city isn't doing much about it they're talking about passing bills and and, and laws and they do they're, they're taking too long sometimes guys you have to fucking get in there and get some and not sit there and you know wait for the legality or the legal issue or the legal system sorry to take a hold these guys wait too long i'm i am baffled at the fact that these politicians always have to sign bills so that something needs to happen no how about you just drop the fucking hammer get them out and then go with the bill don't wait till the bill is signed don't wait till people vote on it and then making the fucking move make the move now so with that, guys, the city is undoubtedly going to get a hell of a lot worse, especially with these people moving into neighborhoods and making the neighborhoods a living hell. Now, the, the neighborhood with the migrant gang or Venezuela gang that had the drugs and the gun, they were, the neighbors, they were complaining. I'm like, well, what's good of complaining if you're not going to do anything about it? You're calling the cops. Cops don't want to do shit because they can't. 
You call your local politician, they can't do anything because of the laws. So you have to take matters in your own hand. Now, again, guys, this is only going to get worse. You're possibly going to see vans and RVs in your neighborhood as well, especially vans, because the illegal immigrants are going to work, put money together, get themselves a van. They might even work, pull their money together, get themselves an RV, and then you're going to see RVs everywhere. Like I said, guys, get them out of your neighborhood by any means necessary. If you got to flatten their tires and then say there's an abandoned car in front of your building, by, by all means, do that. Right? Don't go the extreme route. Wink, wink. Uh, don't go the extreme route, but definitely put it out there that they're not invited in the neighborhood by any means necessary. Because, again, they these people are waiting for laws, and they're trying to do things the legal route. And sometimes, guys, legality doesn't work, or the legal system doesn't work, as we've seen a thousand times. We've watched illegal immigrants get arrested on a daily basis for heinous crimes, and they get released. We're watching criminals, just regular criminals, get released on, on heinous crimes. Oh, they robbed, they had guns, they stole, they beat somebody up. Oh, they're out the next day. Again, guys, if the legal system's not going to work, guess who has to work overtime now? Us. That being said, guys, this is, if you live in New York City, this is going to get a whole hell of a lot interesting. If you live in a city like New York City, you're probably going to see the same kind of pattern happen there as well. You're probably going to see an influx of migrants in your neighborhood trying to squat in homes. If you see that bullshit, like I said, end it immediately. Put a squash to it because it only gets worse. And in fact, the illegal immigrant gangs or migrant gangs are exploding in New York City. They're not talking about it, but talking to cops, they're seeing an influx of gang-related crimes. We haven't seen the violence yet, at least... I haven't read any violence or heard any cops talking about the violence yet. But, and when I mean violence, I'm talking about gang on gang. Excuse me. We haven't seen gang wars yet. That is coming. And definitely we're going to see some shit in the summertime. But their crimes are exploding. The gangs are exploding. And there's different sets of them. So it's not just like the MS-13, the Venezuela gang. There are other illegal immigrant gangs out here that are growing. So we're undoubtedly going to see some shit by summertime, if not a little earlier. Other than that, guys, keep your head on a swivel. When you are outdoors, these people are everywhere, everywhere. I can't throw a rock and not hit one. You throw a rock, in fact, you're going to hit 20 because it's that many of them out there. Every time I'm downtown now, it's just like it's all like if I feel like I'm in South America just by the Spanish I'm listening to. I'm like, the hell's going on? It's bad. And it's only going to get worse and something needs to be done. And again, being that these people have no place to go now, a lot of the men, the older single guys with no family, have nowhere to go. Shit's going to get a lot more interesting. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.